hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima this is the last part in my q a series if you've not seen the part one to three please go see it i'll put the link up for you with that said let's continue voila for pigeon you know. as they be be like say you would like start teaching on this your page you well you see it will take a lot for me to start teaching i know i'm a graduate of human anatomy so i should at least be sending out videos on anatomy but it will take a lot for me to be able to start pushing out such videos so for now i can't promise you that i'll start putting out academic video like i'll start teaching you axilla and all this anatomy of the ear of course it's something i may consider doing in the future all right now no 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 no. it's very stressful this person said i'm teaching and giving areas to concentrate on will give you more viewers and more popularity as we have less nigerian medical school teachers well you're right actually thank you very much for this i may consider doing it in the future but for now i just want to focus on those key areas that i struggled with i want to focus on sharing my own experience as a medical student and not just as a medical student but as a mature medical student so for now that's what my channel is all about trying to motivate the younger ones that are coming in and motivate people who are like me and need someone who really understand their struggles so of course i will consider doing that in the future just not now this person said there was a video where you mentioned that you read like five times before going to the exam hall i'm a slow reader how can i achieve reading for at least three times before an assessment okay so i have to put a link to the video where i explained that in details up please go see that video so you understand in detail how i do that but let me just quickly give you a rundown anytime i come back from school i read through everything i've learned that day before i sleep i'm not the type that will sleep and wake up later on at night to read i can't do it if i sleep i wake up the next morning so that night before i sleep everything i learned that day i study it then the morning when i wake up everything i learned in the previous class i study it like for example if i'm having biochemistry physiology anatomy that day everything i learned in the previous biochemistry class the previous anatomy class the previous physiology class that is what i read that morning now this is the second time i'm reading it during weekends everything i learned for the week i study it now this is the third time i'm reading it once exam timetable is out the week before i write exams it all depends on if i'm having classes prior to that exam week if i'm not having classes that week before i write my exams i go through everything i learned for the semester now that's the fourth time i'm reading that material the night before exam i go through whatever i learned the whole semester for that course that i'm having the next day now that's the fifth time i'm reading that material the morning of the exam it all depends on my mood on how tired i am and whatever course it is and if i was able to finish up the previous night i read again those really difficult topics within that course now that's the sixth time i've read through i know it sounds very easy but believe me it's not easy you have to discipline yourself and if you're a christian and you're watching this you already know that i'm an advocate of the holy spirit read and study with the holy spirit the holy spirit will help you to understand quickly the holy spirit will give you study speed however i have a full video on how i increased my study speed in medical school if you've not seen it i'll put the link up for you please go see that video you have to increase and work on your study speed if at all you want to go to medical school there is a lot for you to cover within a short period of time and another question what's your relationship why are all of you just asking me on my relationship status please it is private okay when it's time i will introduce him to the channel but for now it is private um this person is asking how do you cope with friendships especially as a mature person in medical school so i have to be frank with you at first it was very difficult making friends with people that are way younger than you the closest friends i have in class I'm at least eight years older than them but we have this mutual understanding that i know they respect me a lot and i respect them too i know what makes them upset i can't say oh because i am eight years or older than them i will carry my shoulder up and i'll be expecting them to call me auntie or expecting them to call me grandma or expecting them to call me ma no 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 i have a full video on how to cope in medical school advice for unconventional medical students or non-traditional medical students or mature medical students 25 years and above i have a dedicated video on that please go and see it if you've not seen it i see my classmates as my siblings and i relate with them the way i will relate with my siblings so that makes me not to have this respect entitlement mentality if you want to have friends that are younger than you and keep up that relationship you have to be understanding you need to understand that it is the age okay some of my classmates 
come up to me to tell me about the relationship issues that they have some of them you see them 16 17 18 19 they're talking about boyfriend they're talking about girlfriend i can't tell them hey concentrate on your studies when i was your age i was doing that you can't do that this is a different dispensation this is the gen z this is the generation where even a 10 year old boy or a 10 year old girl already has a girlfriend so you need to like come down to their level and be understanding treat them like you would treat your younger ones of course if you can try to mentor them okay this person said i watched the video that you made with your mom and i admire the relationship that you have with your mom please what advice do you have for a medical student who lost her mom i lost my mom early this year and i'm preparing for my professional mb and each time i think about it it makes me break down please how do i cope <sighs> wow i'm so sorry to hear this wow um it's going to be hard okay it's going to be very difficult but just give your, yourself that space give yourself that time to grieve i mean i don't believe that you can ever finish grieving for the loss of a loved one especially when that person is your mother i'm going to tell you if you can surround yourself with a supportive group of people people that can understand people that can cover up for you please do that that would go a long way to help you and um i'm sending out light and love to you i wish you all the best please send me an email if you can i'll be so elated to hear from you okay so i've exhausted all the questions that I was asked if you ask a question that i did not answer please send it to me as an email or send me a dm on instagram and you can as well drop a comment below the rest are sure that most of these questions that were asked i will still upload a full video on these things and with all this said i remain your girl Jemima. see you in my next my next year's q a by god's grace by december 2023 happy new year once again bye